Gravity Payments, the CEO, was ridiculed because he had the audacity to say he's raising the minimum wage of his company, had over 100 employees. He did this about six or seven years ago, right? Everybody, all the economists, all of the Republican pundits, they said this guy is going to lose, company will fail. He cut his own salary to make sure everybody at the company could get at least $70,000 a year and more. Here's some of that background. What I wanted to announce today is we're gonna have a minimum $70,000 pay rate for everyone that works here. Have you seen the CEO of the Seattle-based company who raised the minimum wage at his credit card processing company to $70,000 per year? Lunatic of all lunatics, Dan Price, CEO of Gravity Payments. I hope this company is a case study in MBA programs on how socialism does not work because it's going to fail. Mm, thoughts on this guy? Personally, personally, I think he's a socialist, but this is the man who's doing it. Are you a socialist? Well, look, you know, I don't support a minimum wage increase because it's a job killer, but he's a private business owner. If he wants to do this in between hugging trees. I have a hunch we're going to know Dan Price for a really long time. But the 130 employees of Gravity Payments, I think they're going to be on the welfare line. Yeah, that's what they said about the guy, okay? Company is doing better than ever, profits in the millions. His workers have been able to purchase homes, have children, enjoy life. His retention rate is higher than the national average. Why? Because he did what the economist and the pundits said he could not do. He was fair, he was fair and it worked. Uh, let's put up this amazing uh, tweet from Mr. Dan Price, the CEO who has done the unbelievable. Dan Price said, six years ago today, I raised my company's minimum wage to $70,000. Fox News called me a socialist whose employees would be on bread lines. Since then, our revenue tripled. We're, we're a Harvard Business School case study and our employees had a 10 time boom in homes bought. Always invest in people. Wow, he did it. Now what you gotta say? I'm talking to all of the conservatives and economists who will say, no, 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 no. The only way to make this work is through trickle down economics. Uh, you, you must incentivize the rich in order uh, to validate and in order to um, uplift those in the middle class or the poor, damn lie. He just proved every single one of you suckers wrong, all of you. Now, who's going to apologize to Mr. Dan Price? Will it be him? Put up his picture, let's put him up. Roll all those clowns who said this could not be possible, this could not happen. Everybody universally on the right called Dan Price a lunatic. Now you can call him a lunatic all the way to the bank. Jackson? Good story here. Yeah, great story. And I think uh, what it really demonstrates is the fruits to nurturing the better sides of our inescapable human nature. And that we're a collective and social species that really aims to give help and nurture and um, you know assist one another when we're in safe and supportive environments versus the opposite end that creates a scarcity mindset, which really is what our business culture uh, runs on. Because it's common sense to think if you give more to people for their hard work and, and their efforts, they will give more to the company, they'll give more to the mission. You will attract better talent because people know that their lifestyle will be better supported if they can go there, hence higher birth rates, which uh, you know the millennial generation and, and on, we're having babies much later, uh, we're not owning homes. And a lot of that is yeah. due to the fact that we're not making any money. And you know, people being in bread lines for making more is just completely antithetical to logic and reality. And yeah. so unfortunately, you know, um, well rather fortunately, this man's story is really, really popular and well known. Because we see firsthand that giving more allows people to give more in return. And I love how it happened. He did not follow some fancy economist. He did not have some massive data collection operation. This happened because Mr. Dan Price ran into one of his employees that had to work a second job to make ends meet. He said this cannot be so. And because of that one employee, 
He cut his salary, transformed his entire matrix and boom, six years later, one of the most successful companies in America.